welcome to Life on Mars, the Home Makeover Show. As a top life expert, I have spent my whole life creating a casual luxury brand that is dedicated to helping others get inspired with their own home. By simply applying my six design principles, I will be turning this New England home into a casual luxury haven. And although I have worked on many home makeover projects over the years, this is my biggest project yet. So join me on this exciting journey. Each episode shows you how I use my casual luxury principles to transform this house. Green Isle for the O'Kane family. We're going to keep the spirea. Hey everyone, I'm Mar Jennings and welcome to another episode of Life on Mars, the home makeover show. On today's episode, we are focusing on the landscaping and that means we're going to also address curb appeal. We're making some tough decisions along the way, but in the end, we're going to make Green Isle worthy of its name, Green Isle. Let me tell you how this curb appeal project began. My initial consultation was to address the foyer because they recently just had a water leak. So I came in to talk about how can we redesign this space at the same time address the leaky roof. Well, of course, one project led to the next and I thought it'd be important that while we're addressing all the different design elements outside, we should also take advantage and do the landscaping as well. So one project led to the next and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and I spent more and more time at Green Isle. To properly show you everything, you're going to see the entire year's worth of transformation in this one episode. There are a lot of moving parts and of course, outfits. Last night was a very cold night. We even had frost, but that cannot slow us down as this morning, in spite of the fact that it is cold, we need to move forward with our landscaping project. And they're relocating some of the plant materials and they're going to begin building our little stone wall and new walkway. Frost is here. Get to it, people. Let's look busy. As you can see, I'm very busy. Because we are in the historical district in Westport, curb appeal was my number one, number one important component of whatever we did, we needed to be very aware of the history of the house, the curb appeal of the house, and the overall look and feel when you see this house from the street. This year-long curb appeal project meant juggling five overlapping projects. A new foyer roof, new gutters, new garage doors, new siding, plus new dormers for the house and the garage. <laughs> okay, Ross is laughing, but I'm just getting some news. We just approved to add to the budget clapboard, new siding on this house. Uh, because we're taking time to replace all the windows, we figured this was a good opportunity to do that. But now I'm being told, and that's why I'm going like this, is that we have an insulation issue where we're going to have a, to get a special budget just to allocate for that as well. And that's gonna be ka-ching, ka-ching, more money. So it has to be addressed. So this is the time to do it. So now we have to call someone to give us a price and a quote clearly on how much it's going to cost to insulate the house. Worst scenario, and then we cut it back from there. So uh, I gotta go break the bad news. Yeah, gotta go talk to the owner. Okay. Okay. Coming up, this is a tough decision to make. And in the end, I just hope you love what we're doing because it's a point of no return. As America's top lifestyle expert, it's very difficult sometimes to find people that are on the same standards that you expect. Tiffin Toller was able to execute my project as well as my client's project to a degree that surpassed not only my expectations, but my clients as well. Ross is extremely knowledgeable, dedicated, and just very easy to work with, and it's made the whole process fantastic. Hi, I'm Ross from Teeth & Taller. We specialize in high-end construction. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. 
This episode covers a year's worth of outdoor curb appeal projects. And once Yvonne gave us the green light to replace the siding, we could also focus on the lack of insulation. Because the way this house was constructed in 1908, the best way for us to address the fact that there wasn't any insulation here was to have it blown in. And they create two holes. That way, when they're blowing it in, it has an exit. And that way, when it's done and it fills the area, they go ahead and pop the area and close it off, such as they've done right here. So uh, in the end, the house is gonna feel a lot toastier because we have new windows and we've added insulation so it will eventually pay for itself. It wasn't long ago I was standing right here talking about this project and all the different things we were going to do. Now it's truly all coming together and in spite of the fact that it's raining, drizzling a little, they're still working and that's the key. Tick tock, tick tock, we have to finish this project. In spite of the weather, the team is still able to prepare the new brick walkway. As a professional realtor, yes, that's another cap that I wear, you definitely take money away from the bottom line if garages are transformed into other spaces. In this scenario, it wasn't even transformed to a usable space. It was just equipment. So what I'm going to do is relocate the pool equipment to the back of the garage, allowing you to get two cars back in this garage. So what was here was a lot of different bricks. They didn't match, they were in cement. So what we have to do is we removed all the bricks and now we're gonna add Belgian block. And the reason why we're adding Belgian block as an apron is because we want them to tie into the new plant beds that we're putting right in front of the small picket fence that takes you into the first tier patio. In the end, it's all gonna look like it was always here. The Belgian block apron is finally in, so that means we can install our carriage house doors thanks to the help of Ed's garage doors. There are two things that are very important when it comes to curb appeal. One is the overall character of the house and the maintenance of how the house is taken care of, clearly. The second one is the landscaping component. Now you add to that that the house is located in a historical district where you have a lot of people driving by or really taking interest in the neighborhood. That has to elevate the entire experience. Now, the overall design was not only to give it this incredible curb appeal, but we also wanted to make the house look as welcoming as the O'Kane family. Today, the dormers over the garage are going in, and here's a great tip for you. What we've done is that we established what the new dormer would look like, and we built one out to scale as a preliminary plan. That way, we can step away and take a look at it. Now we also accounted for not just the window and the roof line, but the shutters as well. We did this so we won't make a mistake later and say the dormer's too big or too small. Once we approved that, we were ready to go forward and to start the demo. Coming up. I'll be an old man. Come back right now and check on the gutters. Escape, rejuvenate, relax into your perfect dream at Dream Spa and Salon. From couture, color and cuts, and hot rock massages to perfect pedicures, Dream has you covered from head to toe. Dream Spa and Salon, we welcome you to Dream. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. At Green Isle, we are busy on our year-long curb appeal project. From the new dormers to the garage doors to the landscaping, we're doing it all. But things are so on schedule, my team had something up their sleeves. 
So for my birthday, Team Mar presented to me a great trip to New Orleans. Now, I'm sure you know that New Orleans has been the backdrop for many motion picture movies as well as TV series. So I was very excited to go there and to just embrace the architectural design and experience a whole new city here in the United States. Well, I must say, it was a real treat. So while I was in New Orleans, I thought it'd be a great idea to venture out and to visit a plantation. Hey everyone, so I'm here right outside Baton Rouge, Louisiana at Homeless House, a fantastic plantation that's going to serve for a lot of wonderful inspiration for Green Isle. Now this house was built in 1825 and it has a classic traditional feel to it. So because Green Isle was built in 1908, I thought that I could use this house as a great platform to see some of the designs that were used back then and how they're still very popular today. Comparing it with Green Isle, built in 1908, there are a lot of similarities. It just goes to show you that great design lasts the test of time. Now, this place was also so inspirational, but I gotta get back to work. Spring is in the air and workers are everywhere and that's the idea. When the weather turns up the heat, that means we can pay attention to the outdoor details and get all the projects done. It's gutter time! Gutter time! All right, the gutters are one of those things that is an elaborate detail. Do you need to have copper gutters? Absolutely not. Do you love copper gutters when they're installed? Absolutely, we love the way they look. They're long lasting. Now, Copper Gutters was a little bit of a bite on the budget, of course, but we felt very strongly to keep the integrity of the house, we would go down that road. So I'm thinking that the scupper should be between those four windows in that area there. I love it. The more layers you add to the house, the more real it looks. Less dollhouse, like more functional and more decorative at the right? same time. I think it looks great. I'm so happy I'm jumping over down. <laughs> Look at me, I'm jumping over down. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. And the fact that they will last the test of time. I mean, we can get a hundred years for those. I'll be an old man. Come back right now. I want to check on the gutters. Okay, true story. True story. The kids are going to have to wheel my walker. <laughs> All right, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to put a ramp in. Teddy <laughs> Ray's me. Green Isle was not the only house packed with people. My home, Rosebrook Gardens, was on an annual charity garden tour. So I asked Yvonne if she can help out. All right, so I first met Yvonne at one of my garden tours many, many years ago, and now we flash forward. We're on this project for Green Isle, and today, instead of being a visitor, she is a docent. I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it to work, watch. Tell me what you thought of Rosebrook Gardens today. The Rosebrook Gardens is one of the treasures uh, of Westport, apparently, uh, and I can see why. Everything, all the details, the attention to detail is just amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I've seen Rosebrook Gardens now in the winter and in the summer, so that's an extra treat. You know, it's amazing. Like, every single square foot is used. It's just incredible to see all these different plants. Just um, a lot of work and a lot of planning, I'm sure, went into all of it. I think he's kind of special and he makes sure I always have really good jewelry on as well. I'm going to pass to Mar at Green Isle. Let's see what he's doing at my house now. When it came to landscaping Green Isle, there was only one company I was going to call, and that was Oliver Nursery and Design Associates. They totally know how to transform any landscape to make it a complete oasis, and that's exactly what we needed. All right, so I have some good news okay. and I have some bad news. So uh, I want you to understand, I know slowly, 
Okay, so this is where we're at. One of the big challenges when it came to assessing the landscaping for Green Isle was the fact that so many different people have made their mark over the years. So as a designer, I have to assess and say, this is going to stay, this is going out. Because the house was built in 1908, there were also very mature trees on the property. So that's a tough dialogue to have with the homeowners. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So originally we were very committed to the cherry trees and we said the cherry trees were valuable to us and we weren't willing to take down all the cherry trees, but I managed to convince you to take down two of the cherry trees so we can open up and have more of a curb appeal and more of a sight line to the house. I have to talk to you about taking the last of the three cherry trees that are here at the corner of the driveway right in front of the house. And I know that these are special trees for you. The cherry trees at Green Isle are a really big part of our family. The three right in front of the house, the pink halo that was cast by those is something that we've always used as a definition for our property. The swing between them that the girls would swing and read on, Teddy would climb those trees. The thought of taking them down was really a lot more emotional than I thought it was going to be. I need you to trust me and trust the professionals to allow us to take it down. You know what, can I think about it? Let me think yes. about it for a little while. Yes. Me, give me five, ten minutes. Let me just kind of put my head around it before I make an impetuous Take decision it out. and say yes or no. Give me just a few minutes. Take it out. Okay. Okay. I'm not really sure she's going to buy into this idea, so we're just going to have to wait and see and hope for the best. Hi everyone, I'm lifestyle expert Mar Jennings. I'm the author of Life on Mars, Creating Casual Luxury. I'm inviting you all inside my Westport, Connecticut home to explore my six casual luxury design principles. And it's full of practical tips that you can apply in any space. It's casual luxury made simple and smart. It's like an entire season of a home makeover show in one book. Order your copy now. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. The Curve Appeal projects are in full swing at the makeover home Green Isle, and that includes the landscaping. But I might have pushed it way too far as my last recommendation brought Yvonne to tears. It might have been just too much to handle. It was a tense hour, but Yvonne finally emerged, giving us the green light to move forward. Based upon our great successes so far, she was willing to take this chance the day those pink cherry trees were coming down, it's a good thing Mar was there to comfort me. It was a hard day at Green Isle. Yeah. I hate to see anyone upset. And when Yvonne started crying when the trees started coming down, it broke my heart. I wanted to comfort her and try to validate that this was a good thing and it was it it was it was very sad. Just because we're getting rid of the cherry tree doesn't mean we have to get rid of the swing. So I will find a brand new home for the swing. I I hope you got that. Of course, as an avid gardener, I believe in having some great resources. I thought I would take Yvonne out on this little journey to experience Oliver Nursery in Fairfield, Connecticut. Hey, Jed. Hey, Mar. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Yvonne. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. All right, so we're here for inspiration, recommendations, and of course, there's no better place to come than here. You came to the right place. Right. One of our great four season plants is the paper bark maple. And how many years has this been planted here? Probably at least 75 years old. I and just like it because it tells a story. It tells I a feel story. Like the different shades and layers just tell a story of its life. What else you have? So we love the magnolia, so here's a perfect example of one, right? Yep, this is a younger one to our garden here. It was actually just planted this spring. Beautiful, I love the refinement of it. I mean, it's very, very sweet, but it's also it very good. condensed. To blow it out, come on. Good job. Nice good to, to see, see you. you. We'll, nice we'll see you then, okay? All right, sounds good. Bye-bye. 
All right, so we are done here and just in the nick of time because the O'Kane family has to get on a plane to the Dominican Republic while I stay behind and make sure that this goes smoothly. The O'Kanes decided to take a family vacation to the Dominican Republic. Perfect. Now I have one week to totally bring in all the new landscaping and address all the final details. That way when they return, voila, we're all done. Today's a big day. It's actually a record-breaking day. We have 36 workers here to help finish the landscaping design. It's perfect timing because the O'Kane family is out away on a holiday, so when they come back, this outdoor reveal will be completed. It was a tight schedule, but thanks to Jed and his amazing team, we were able to pull it off within a week. So the O'Kanes came home very late last night and I deliberately left all the lights off. So now I'm gonna get Yvonne so she can see the complete transformation this morning. Yvonne! I'm gonna walk you out. Let's go out, here we go. So how was your trip, good? It was fantastic, we had such a great time. So Jed, Ross, say hello. Good morning, Yvonne. Good morning. When can I open uh, my oh, eyes? Okay, keep your eyes shut. One, two, three. Oh <laughs> my God, it looks outstanding. Here's what we did to dramatically boost the curb appeal. We added a stone wall and expanded the driveway, new dormers on the house in the garage, a new foyer roof and balustrade, new shutters and gutters, a great new brick walkway, beautiful landscaping and stone steps up to the kitchen terrace, we removed trees to open up the view from the street, new garage doors and reclaimed a garage bay by relocating the pool equipment. We added a new parterre garden plus the house was painted and insulated. And that is really our grand entrance area but if you look at the property it really has complete oasis around it that no matter where you look, there's these little pockets of decor and detail that truly bring it all together. Mar, the swing is back. That was the hardest part of taking down those cherry trees at the front of the house. The kids are gonna be thrilled. So we took down three trees, but we planted trees in more appropriate places. This is a paper bark maple. It's a really great choice. Much more scale appropriate for the house now. We changed the outline of the bed to bring it down through the bottom of the steps before the bed used to start up in the middle on the left-hand side there. Voila! Two cars in your garage, babe. That's amazing. Right? I just want to thank all of you so much. This work far exceeds my expectations. I'm thrilled with it all. This transformation has been a year in the making, and we're still not done yet. As you notice, casual luxury can even work for outdoor spaces as well. I'm Mar Jennings, keep it casual, and knowing Yvonne, I'm sure there's even more work for me to do. Till next time, goodbye everyone. <laughs> These conditions. <laughs> oh my God, the way it makes me work. Oh. And it even includes the kitchen sink. <laughs> I'm Mar Jennings. And I'm Ivana King. Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is transforming Green Isle. Both inside and out, top to bottom. What do you have up your sleeve for me this time? Tune in to find out.